how's it going? So the weather got really cold really quick and I've been in the southwest where it's either really good weather or really hot weather for eight years. So this is my first winter and your girl has not unpacked her winter clothes yet. So as you can see, I don't really have a lot of clothes and like you can hate or whatever, but this is my absolute favorite tank top. It even has like paint on it. Um, you'll see me wearing it a lot because it just feels so good and it's like, like my comfort shirt or something. Um, so, I don't even know if I have any pants. Like, here's a pair of, um, yoga pants. <clears throat> I have some leggings. Another pair of pants. Um, I have a very thin jacket, um, this is a three quarter length flannel type shirt, but it's not really flannel, it's just cotton. Um, this is my hella awesome jacket that I wore. Um, in a recent photo shoot, I will insert pictures of that, like, here. But it's not the kind of jacket you can wear all the time. Um, this is a recent find that I got at Walmart, but it's short sleeve, and... It's got holes in it. Well, not holes, but it's like, it's knit. So I don't really know how, exactly how warm it's going to be. <clears throat> and I have this three quarter length jacket, but it's more for spring. I did get myself a jean jacket that I'm really excited about, so that'll be nice. <clears throat> and here is one long sleeve shirt that I can wear. So I'm going to, all the rest of this stuff is like not really great for winter. In fact, I should probably put it in boxes for spring. Um, but I'm not quite that organized yet. So here's a good one. Uh, yeah, those are okay, but they're not really great. <clears throat> I have one, two, three, four, five, six hangers with stuff that I can wear in the winter. <clears throat> okay, so this is also another new find. Um, my mom got it for me for three dollars. It is a long sweater with this really pretty button down the side. Uh, still three quarter length, but at least it'll be warm. Um, I don't really like to hang sweaters, but I feel like if I don't hang it, I'm going to forget that I have it and then it won't get worn. <clears throat> so <clears throat> there's that. I also think, um, a lot of the stuff in this box might not even be really like my stuff. Oh, I love this shirt. I had this made in Las Vegas at Affiliate Summit West and it says Rom's mom and I'm kind of tempted to like 
either make a pillow out of it or cut the sides because they only went up to a 2x and if I'm wearing t-shirts I like for them to be 4x <clears throat> because they always shrink and the arms are never big enough if I get anything smaller than that so that's something like a project outfit and then I have so many of these like really thin shirts I mean I guess they're good to layer under jackets but they're thinner than t-shirt thin they're like I don't know I guess they're just for looks it's the kind of stuff that you want to wear in the winter in San Diego or Las Vegas here is this is a decent one it's uh this is supposed to be long sleeve but for me it's not going to be long sleeve, um, but it's still decent, like, it's still better than just a t-shirt or short sleeve shirt. Um, this is a summer dress. My winter is coming shirt. This is another one just like that blue one I showed you. Like I said, I have a couple. It's really cute over a cami with some jeans in the southwest, not for the winter time in the southeast. This was definitely something I wore a lot of on the West Coast because winters were just super tolerable. Um, occasionally you get like a blustery day. This is an outfit that I will wear out sometime. I got both of these at two different places. They're both from Torrid. This is a... <clears throat> A stretchy pencil skirt that has the exact same color detail here from Torrid. I don't usually wear Torrid clothes, but it also, I found this at a different place. I think I actually got this one on thread up and I was like, yes, it's like a crop vest with the same like dark steel details. One day, your girl will have a place to wear this. I kept thinking I would get to wear it out like on Fremont Street in Vegas. But we all know how 2020 went. Okay. Looks like we're getting into some jean shorts. Okay, this is like one thing that I have that might be really good. But I think it's a little too small. So... If I'm doing well on Weight Watchers and I can fit into it, it might work really well. And it's not the waist part that's small for me, it's the arms. But I love this. This is a Columbia jacket that I got at um, a thrift store called Savers in Las Vegas. It's a boys and girls club thrift store, kind of like um, Salvation Army, but for specifically boys and girls club. We really liked supporting that one. And they always had really good stuff. I am on the hunt for my jeans. I don't know if these are, these are not gonna fit me. These are pre-pregnancy jeans. I don't know if I have any jeans that are gonna fit. I don't think I bought any. Yeah, these are also pre-pregnancy jeans. I've got purses in here. I've got some jean shorts in here. Let's see what's in this bas uh, basket. <laughs> uh, let's see what is in this box. Love that. Summer. Love all this stuff, but I think a lot of it's going to be summer. Summer. This is another Torrid piece that I have. I said I don't do Torrid, but I bought this for my birthday in San Diego, and I love it. It's just um, too cold to wear. Okay, so here are a couple dresses I used to wear in the corporate world. These are from the Avenue. I got them in San Diego. I like to wear this dress under my cute black jacket so this might be a good one if we go somewhere for the holidays if we do i'm not sure if i'm brave enough to do that yet might have to wait till 2022 but 
this dress um, fit me at a size 28 and all the way down to a size 24. So I think either way, it's a good dress to have. And this is like one of my tried and true dresses. It's almost too worn to wear. But I did get a clothing debobber for the little balls. And uh, debobber is what they call it in London. So that's why I call it that because I think it's so funny. But um, this one's really cute on. And I wear like a black thick belt to kind of cinch the waist. Um, but it does. It's, it's starting to get a little bare. Like threadbare. And I feel like because of that I have to keep it um, for special occasions only. Um, definitely a summer shirt. Some of these clothes I could have worn this summer. Okay, here is a long sleeve shirt that I got from Walmart last winter. And Robert was like, are you going to wear that to work? It says cuddle all day. People are going to want to cuddle with you. And I was like, actually, I got this in 2019. Um, that was the last time that I was like in the office for the winter, but it says cuddle all day. It's just a long sleeve shirt. It's also very thin. Um, uh, it's supposed to be a pajama shirt, but I like it as a regular shirt. As you can see, like most of my clothes match my brand, which is part of the reason why my brand is the way that it is. So... Here is a thicker long sleeve cart, like long cardigan, or I don't even know. I don't know what you call this. A knit sweater. I'm not a fashionista. I'm just a plus size broad who doesn't have a whole lot of clothes when it comes to the stuff that like really fits my body. Um got to keep the long with the long. Okay. Here is a shirt that I love, but again, it's not winter. Ah, yes. A velour jacket. This will be warm. Okay. This is still not going to stand through the winter, though. I'm going to have to get some oh winter pieces. Thankfully, I do work from home. But I also still have to go out. I was trying to find this for a photo shoot I did for one of my businesses recently. But, of course, I couldn't find it when I needed it. So, it's okay. Okay. I can wear it on the next photo shoot, but it might also be a good thing to wear over like leggings and a cami this winter. I only have a few things left and I think they're all pretty much winter. Like here's a skirt. Well, this is like a spring summer skirt. Um, this is one of my favorite dresses. I actually wore it in my maternity pictures at Coronado in San Diego. Um, I will put one of those pictures here somewhere. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about wearing this in a TikTok, like one of those glow up TikToks. So I don't really have a lot of glow up looks, but this dress just fits me really well. And it's, um, I like to think of it as like, when I feel like a diva, I like to wear this dress, my diva dress. Let me put it back here. And then this is not a winter dress at all. But it is a dress that I've had since before Robert and I got together. And it's actually the dress I was wearing when he proposed to me. So I'll put a picture of that over here too. Because um, it's one of my favorites. And thankfully because I don't wear these things very often. When I do decide to wear them, they still look really good, you know. So that's it. That's all of my clothes, really. The rest of these, like I said, are definitely spring, summer things. <sighs> I 
I need like a really comfortable um like big thick coat that I can just wear over anything and I need a couple pair of jeans because really it's not like I'm going to be spending a lot of time outside but you don't want to be caught without a coat and I've been checking the Goodwill and Salvation Army but I'm not seeing anything yet I might go on thread up that's a really good idea I think I'm going to go on thread up and as far as the jeans go there's a couple of leggings or no jeggings um uh from the woman within catalog that i'm thinking about because they're super stretchy and they're just like leggings and i just need something to cover me like from waist to feet and they actually have talls which i need so i think that might be the best option just buy like two pairs of those because they're 20 bucks and like usually jeggings don't last more than one season for me because my thighs rub together and that messes up fabric but um so that might work and then um i'll look on thread up for a jacket but yeah that's pretty much my winter war i mean this is my wardrobe like these are all of my clothes the only thing i don't have in the closet are things in this dresser right here below the camera and that's like underwear, bras, camis. I have like two t-shirts in there. I have some lingerie. And I have some winter stuff like a couple of little knit hats and scarves. But that's, you can't just wear like shorts and a tank top and scarves. You know, but you've got to have, I think I'm really going to experience it this year. It's going to be like weather culture shock for me. So anyways. That's my closet. <laughs> I am the absolute worst. I was going to show you when I made the taco soup, but I'm kind of to the end of it now. I'm trying to find good lighting. Um, here we go. I'm kind of to the end of it now, so I'm just gonna show you what I did. Um, and you can let me know in the comments what you think. So this is one pound of ground beef browned with taco seasoning you can make your own taco seasoning or use store-bought depending on like how many preservatives and things you want in it I used two cans of Rotel tomatoes and chiles chilies chili I don't know um, I used half a block of cream cheese so you'll see that floating in here um, I also used one can of no salt added whole kernel corn, not sweetened corn, just plain whole kernel corn, and one can of no salt added black beans. Now I am going to take this whole bag of spinach, I'm going to try to with one hand anyways and just dump it in here. It's gonna seem like a whole lot, but I promise you that it cooks down really quickly. So basically then you just press it down. I love the addition of spinach in here. And I'm just gonna let it cook down, kind of stir it, mix it all. I will check the taste with a spoon and um, if I need a little bit more seasoning I'll probably add some seasoning the taco seasoning and you can always add your favorite taco sauce or hot sauce if you want more heat I like to just add um, a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes um, so we can do that right now my kitchen is a disaster. This is my pretty messy spice drawer. Okay. Here is the, 
I need to get like more organic crushed dried pepper, but I like to make sure that I use what I have. I like a lot of it. So there's that. Once this is done, see how the spinach is really starting to cook down? Okay, I will show you how I plate it when it's ready. Okay, so I have removed it from heat. And I'm going to take my ladle and we're going to feel like one of my chef clients. <laughs> Pretty sure I saw a little chunk of cream cheese, but that's okay because we have shredded cheese. And I don't do a lot of this because it's really just supposed to be a garnish. So I take a couple of these um, uh, Siete chips and crinkle them here so that I can add them in to the soup. I am not a chef, so I hope my presentation surpasses any and all expectation. And that, my friends, is, if you're on Weight Watchers, this is four points per bowl. And I will put the recipe in the descriptions. Um, it's so good. It really makes for such a good um cold weather soup okay now i think the moment that you all want to see let's get a little bit of everything Yummy. I'm going to get back to work now. So Kristen and I are having a work day today. Um, we are finishing up some projects that have kind of been going on all year. And in about 10 minutes, I have a call with one of my dear friends, Catherine, who is um, going to collaborate with me and um, kind of be in my founder circle for the membership I have coming up. Then... I'm doing pizza for dinner, and yes, I will be tracking it in my Weight Watchers app. Um, but then I'll probably be working kind of late tonight, so it happens. <laughs> At least Kristen's here to, like, cheer me on and pump me up, and I think the youngsters say gas me up, right? Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> okay, um, so that's what's happening today, Wednesday, hump day. <laughs> Yay! Oh my gosh, it's been like a year? Wow, I don't know. A long time. <laughs> um, how are things going?
is Framily Friday. And it has been a very long but very good week. I just got off a very long and very much needed Zoom chat with one of my dear friends, Kristen. She is an amazing podcast producer and um, just super, every time I talk to her, I get super inspired. So that just happened and now I'm going to actually go look for some inspiration for the branding of the membership that I'm getting ready to put the website together for that's going to launch on December 28th. I'm super excited. If you want to be on the wait list for that, I'll put the link in the description so you can get more info as it's released. Um, and then what else is going on? Tomorrow, I've got several things with clients. Um, one of my clients who's a movie producer, I've got to help her line things up to pitch one of her new projects and I'm so excited. And then I have another client that's got a couple big events coming up and I'm going to be helping her kind of finish out the marketing concepts for those tomorrow. Um, and then we're hanging out with our friends on Friday and I will probably take you along for the drive with me for that because the scenery out here is amazing with all the leaves changing colors. So yeah. So I thought that I'd be able to show you guys how pretty the trees were as I drove to my best friend's house for Framily Friday, but it is pitch black dark outside. It is really dark and that means I get to drive in the dark. Yay. But that's why I'm not showing you the trees. I'm sorry I said I would. I wanted to. Okay, so let's talk about the outfits. This is a short sleeve sweater that I love. And some of my jeans, they're capris, because when you live in the southwestern part of the United States, you don't really have to have blue jeans, like full length blue jeans, and I'm so tall that um, I have to get tall blue jeans and even sometimes the tall blue jeans are not quite tall enough and I refuse. I will not wear high waters. I would rather just wear capris. So that's what I do. Um, I do need to find some really good comfortable with a decent amount of stretch very tall jeans for the winter months here because winter is coming and it's gonna freaking be cold it's already getting colder than I'm comfortable with but um so mom and I my mom's here and she is going to be going with me to my kitchen is a mess it's kind of like a dumping ground for all kinds of things but um she is going to be going with me to goodwill she wants to go look for something she saw last time that she didn't pick up and um i think that was monday because i got footage of that too and i'm putting that in this vlog so um i'm gonna go see if i can find anything good and hopefully i will Kayla here. I am currently editing the vlog. I just totally forgot to sign off. I um, ended up getting a lot of really good things from um, Goodwill today and I also have a clothing haul from Fabletics and thewomanwithin.com or womanwithin.com. Um, so between the Goodwill haul, Woman Within, and Fabletics, I'll be back this time next week to do a try on and kind of see what's happening in my life this week. Um, 
So that's going to end the vlog. I really appreciate you all for watching. If you enjoy the vlogs, make sure you sign up for my secret videos and my newsletter. It's the only way you get them. I like to spill the tea about things. Sometimes you guys ask me questions and I answer them only in the secret videos. And I will be back next week. I'm trying to upload every Monday. So I'll see you then.